So on June 20th, Adrian Wojnarowski hit us with a Woj bomb when D'Andre Russell was traded from the LA Lakers to the Brooklyn Nets in exchange for a first round pick and Brook Lopez. Also, Mozgov was thrown into the Nets as well. So this was the first pretty much big trade and then later on like we were hit with the Dwight Howard trade which is pretty interesting as well. So we're going to be doing a D'Angelo Russell Nets rebuild. So what is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? And yeah, we were hit with that major trade yesterday. Later today I will be doing a Brook Lopez slash Lonzo Ball Lakers rebuild because it's pretty much official. They are going for Lonzo Ball and I'll give you guys my thought about this trade as we are going to be starting this Nets rebuild and I got to turn on trade override because they're definitely not going to be accepting this trade. So we were hit with that crazy trade yesterday and I am double opening with both trades. I do personally think that the that the Nets won the trade. I think they won the trade. They definitely got one of the better young players, especially guards in the NBA as now they have Karis LeVert, Rondé Howard, Jefferson, um, Sean Kilpatrick and D'Andre Russell, which is a pretty nice future. Yes, they had to take on that Mozgov contract, but they're not going to be good for the next three years anyway, so, like, that's pretty much going to be useless, and I think they could actually maybe win a couple games. I know Brook Lopez was uh, obviously their best player. I will be trading Brook Lopez right now. Actually, no, I will not. I'll be trading my 26 pick right now to the Lakers. Wait, where is he? To the Lakers for their... or for Mozgov, and then we'll do Russell for... Where is he? Russell for... Lopez after. So they agreed to that trade. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to hop into the NBA draft. So the Lakers, I kind of see what they were doing. They had to trade D'Angelo Russell, but I felt like they could definitely package D'Angelo Russell and maybe a way first rounder for Paul George, but they seem to, I guess, not want to do that. And yeah, so they ended up trading D'Angelo Russell. I think they personally could have got a lot more. I like Brooke Lopez. I like his game a lot. He's one of the better centers in the NBA, not top five. Definitely a top 10 center in the NBA that you're getting. Great player. Uh, obviously, like most of you guys probably know that. But he's on an expired contract is what I don't get. I thought Zubac was the center for the future, but I guess not to that as well. But we're going to see. They did clear up cap that will, I guess, help. I guess if you let Brook Lopez walk, you're going to have Moscow contract on. And you can definitely go after, ooh, John Collins is here. Ooh, Harry Giles. I'm going to go after, or no, Zach Collins, my bad. So we're going to go after Zach Collins here. I think that's our only pick. Yeah. So what was I just saying about the clearing up cap because obviously LeBron has been rumored and obviously the Paul George rumor that they were going to be trading him for him I think it's like been rumored Clarkson Randall two first so we're going to see if that happens on draft night probably will like the Pacers are going to feed in well Paul George is going to get traded somewhere but we are here uh, with the draft over I'm going to be ooh LJ Peak. I don't know who this guy is from Georgetown okay I'm not going to sign him T-bar options let's bring back Dinwiddie Kilpatrick and Hollis Jefferson I'm not going to be Bringing back those other two players. So right now, I'm gonna I have trade over trade override on for this reason. We're going to the Lakers. We're gonna do Russell for Brook Lopez. Obviously, they're not gonna take that. So we're gonna trade override that now. Let me go trade tr turn trade override off so I don't have to deal with that anymore. There we go. Okay, so qualifying offers. I'm gonna offer a deal to I think um, Contavious Caldwell Pope. I think so. I think I want to give him a deal. I'll give him 17 mil. We can always trade him. It's kind of, I'm just getting him for the trade value, which is nice. Same with Otto Porter. How much money do we have? We don't have enough for two free agents. Damn, I would have liked to get Otto Porter and KCP, but it's not the end of the world. As long as we can get one of them, I'll be happy. So we get, not Archie Goodwin. I don't want Archie Goodwin. Do we get one of them? We get Pope. They match it, and okay, well, never mind. We strike out on both those guys. So, those are two rumored people that might go to their team in real life. Is there anybody else? Serge Ibaka, why not? We'll bring in Serge. Um, I could always trade him, which I'm probably going to do. So, we're going to give him three years, a lot of money. Never mind, he doesn't want to play in Brooklyn like nobody else does. So, let's give, do I want to give Rudy Garrett Gallo a contract? Gallinari, we'll give a contract. We'll give him 20 mil a year. I'm going to trade him next offseason. I just want him for this year. Or I can even honestly trade him in the beginning of the year. So, can we get Gallinari or is he going to sign elsewhere as well? Gallinari, come on, sign with the Nets. There we go. So we get Gallinari. I'll see you guys at the start of next year's season. All right, guys, we're pulling off this trade. I think where I'm going to do this. Gallinari for Derek Favors. I would like to do this Buddy Heald. Actually, imagine Buddy Heald and D'Angelo Russell. That's a pretty lethal combo. Ooh, or do I pick up Serge Ibaka? That's who I wanted all along. You know what? We're going to pick up Serge Ibaka. I want to try to keep these guys. So Gallinari for Serge Ibaka straight up. They want to do... I don't want to give up Zach Collins. I'm not giving you Zach Collins. I'll give you a second round pick. Trevor Booker for CJ Miles. Okay, we'll do that trade. So I wanted a power forward, and we ended up getting Serge Ibaka anyway. So this is the rotation. Good. I'm glad Russell's getting a lot of minutes. I want to start Levert, actually, over 
uh, Kilpatrick. So this is going to be the rotation, and I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. And this team probably is not going to make the playoffs. All right, guys, so Kevin Durant takes home the MVP next season. Marco Fultz, rookie of the year. He was drafted, I think, by the... Wow, he was drafted by the Knicks. Yeah, this draft lottery was messed up by a lot of means. Tyree Devin, sixth man of the year. DeAndre Jordan, defensive player of the year. He's been rumored to be traded to the Phoenix Suns, which is pretty interesting. Most improved Buddy Heald and the Bucks get coaching the year, which is pretty cool. I don't know if we're going to see... Are we going to see maybe D'Angelo Russell make it? No, he didn't win anything, unfortunately. Okay, what are you going to do? So, I do... I don't know if I gave my final verdict, but I did give the win of this trade to the Brooklyn Nets. I think that they won this trade by a pretty much a decent margin. I think that the Lakers could have got a lot more for D'Angelo Russell than they were going to... than what they got here. So, let's look at the standings. We were bad. We were bad. We were the worst team in the NBA, and we don't even have our pick, which sucks. So, D'Angelo Russell averaged 17 and 6.5. Okay, I might move in the shooting guard if the opportunity comes, but I'll see. So, let's just simulate the finals. We had six double-digit scores, which is pretty cool. So, let's simulate the finals, see who wins. Is it going to be Cavs, Warriors? Probably. The Lakers made it as the 18, but they lost. It's a Cavs, no, Warriors, Bucks, and the Bucks win it all. Look at Giannis. Look at freaking Giannis Antetokounmpo winning a finals. All right, guys, so we're simulating um here into the off season obviously the nets we know they don't have any draft picks so the celtics are gonna have our pick at the number one odds at the number one pick which sucks and yeah so we could have the number one pick right now but you know it's the nets so yeah we're gonna try to get a coach steve Kerr, you want to come to brooklyn i don't think any coach is gonna want it but we're it's 2k and i think it's so easy to get coaches so we get steve Kerr, who has amazing ratings and we get elijah nelson the backup um coach yes we do or the backup coach i really just say that assistant coach nba draft time all right, time to make it some trades. And Timothy Mozgov, I'm throwing you up on the block. Timothy Mozgov. And do I want to throw up a Baca? We can see what we can get. George Hill, Chama Parsons, Tristan Thompson, Steven Adams, not bad. Billy Hernan Gomez, the Knicks would actually do that. I'm going to go up a lot of cap. Joyce Randall. Nikola Vucevic. I actually like that trade a lot. I'm going to try to do that trade. Jonas Valanciunas, Drew Holiday. Okay, I'm doing that trade because we're actually getting a pretty decent center. In Vucevic, you can keep Solomon Hill. I don't want him. So we pick up Nicole Vucevic, which is actually very nice. Do we have a first round pick? I don't even know if we have one. Um, no, we don't even have a first round pick. Nice. So is there anybody I want to trade? No, nope, we're fine. I guess let's just go. We have a lot of cap space for free agency. That's a fact. So we obviously didn't get any draft picks. So let's go to team player options here. So we're gonna bring back Russell, Hollis Jefferson, Levert, Whitehead, and then Lynn accepts his deal. That's fine. Paul George is a free agent. If he wants to come to Brooklyn, so be it. But I'm gonna offer pretty much everybody a free agent, even Melo, I think. So let's go here to free agency. Sometimes Joel Embiid comes to Brooklyn. I don't know why. How do we only have 24 million in cap space? Or how, how do we leave like 44? We should have like 70 million. The only contract we're giving out right now is 24 million to Vucevic and Jeremy Lynch. So that makes no sense. I guess we're giving 7 million to Russell. Never mind. And we're paying Darren Williams 5 million a year still. That's always, I guess, nice to do. Okay. So let's give another max deal to Paul George. Anybody else? I don't really want to offer. I guess Aldridge, DeAndre Jordan, Melo, Brooke Lopez, maybe. All right, so we simulate today. We get Paul George. Hello. We just picked up Paul George. Very nice. Okay, are we going to be able to get Embiid? Please, don't match. We could have had DeMarcus Cousins. All right, I'm, I think I'm trading. I think I'm trading. Okay. Will I get Embiid? We got Joel Embiid. I don't even need DeMarcus Cousins. The Sixers didn't match it. Okay, I was about to go trade Jeremy Lin so I could pick up Cousins. Wow. This team just went from 0 to 100 real freaking quick. As our starting point guard, DeAndre Russell, starting shooting guard, I don't even know. I guess it'll be a Levert. Small forward, we have George. Power forward, I guess we have Collins. Ooh, okay, so we have Embiid and Vucevic now. So I'm going to try to find a power forward up on the block that I can maybe get for Vucevic. Dream on Green for Vucevic, would they be down to this? And I'll give you two first round picks in the future. How much value does our pick next year have in 2019? <gasps> Four and a half star trade value. Okay, we can pick up a stud. We can pick up, I think, Porzingis right now for this pick. Please do this trade. Um, Vucevic for Tyreek Evans. Can I get somebody better? Could I get Hernan Gomez? Ooh, I can definitely get Hernan Gomez. Give me Hernan Gomez and Evans. Um, Zach Collins for a first round pick. I don't want to give up Zach Collins, so I'll throw in a second. Will they do this? I have to throw in Ronda Hollis Jefferson for another first. You know what? Let's pull the trigger on this shit. We're getting Chris Osprezingis, Tyreek Evans, Billy Hernan, Go Billy Hernan Gomez. It's pronounced Billy, guys. Trust me. And, yeah. So, we just pick up all that. 
Wow, thank God we could have traded our pick because we're going to be pretty good next year. So we have a big three of MB, Porzingis, and George, and we have D'Andre Russell. This team is freaking nice. Okay, so we pretty much got Evans for Fitzpatrick, which is also very nice. Could we pick up maybe Aldridge or Mello now? No, okay. Unfortunately, we cannot. We actually were able to sign all these guys, but unfortunately, we can't bring anybody of them or any of them in. So, yeah. Let me just simulate. How many people do we have on contract? We have 11. So, is there... <sighs> Damn, it sucks that Melo or Aldridge doesn't want to come here in the mid-level exception. Let's go after some Tony Allen. We can move him to small forward if we wanted to. Nene, anybody else. Melo, we can't. And Berea will offer a contract. So, we get Nene and Tony Allen. Berea is probably not going to... Hey, Berea is with us. So, I'll see you guys at the start of next season with what the rotation is going to look like. All right, guys. So, this is what the CPU just auto-generated. This team is actually really freaking good. So... Embiid, okay, we're giving 37 minutes. We're giving so many minutes to starting rotation. Levert, you're going to get 28. George, you're going to get 37. Honestly, we're going to roll with this. Russell getting 38. George, Porzingis, Embiid. We have just built a literally a super team in Brooklyn after one offseason. That was the craziest offseason. How the Sixers didn't match Embiid. Paul George somehow wants to come to Brooklyn, and we traded next year's pick for Porzingis. And, yeah, he's been rumored to trade in real life. I'm... I would be so sad if the next trade poison is so I'm gonna see what's the end of the year now Let's I think we could win a championship if not we could definitely win one next year But let's go win a championship. All right guys Kevin Durant wins back-to-back -back MVPs Michael Porter jr. Rookie of the year. He's on the Grizzlies now Robert Williams six man of the year. He is on the Hawks. He is from Texas A&M He's that he's really good defensively and the Davis defensive player of the year Dennis Smith um, gets most improved, and Sidney Lowe, 62 and 20 Warriors get coach of the year. We went 52 and 30, so they were 10 games better than us. Full total NBA first team, wow. So with Porzingis gone, he's pretty much getting all the scoring points, uh, scoring points, all the, like, I guess he's the main option now, and he's a freaking beast. Are we going to see any Nets? No Nets? Wow. No Brooklyn Nets. I'm kind of shocked right now. We were the two seed in the Eastern Conference. We had the fourth best record in the NBA. This... Wizards team, I guess, was better than us. Okay, the obviously you have the Warriors and then the Spurs, who have. Wow, they kept over Marcus Aldridge and they brought in Demarcus Cousins. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, that's filthy. So Paul George, nine, about twenty points a game. Porzingis, eight, nineteen and eight. Uh, Joel Embiid, eighteen and ten. Russell, sixteen and seven. Levert, eleven. Win nine off the bench. Seven for Evans. Hernan Gomez gets six point four, and Allen two point five. So let's get into these playoffs. Round one against the Boston Celtics. Let's get them payback for taking all the picks from us. As are we gonna lose or are we gonna win? Okay, or we just losing six with this amazing God Squad we have. Okay, that makes no sense whatsoever. But it's a yeah. The Spurs are too good. They beat the Wizards in seven games. The Marcus Cousins is your Finals MVP. I'm a little salty. We lost. I'm a little salty. I'm gonna keep the team the team how it is. Unless I want to move. Actually, I don't even need to go to the lottery. Unless I want to move Tyreek Evans. Um, I don't think we need to deal with any coaching stuff. Yeah, we're good there. Let's go to rookie signings, but also we have Steve Kerr. So we have a nice coach, which is very helpful in this game. I do say that a lot. Now, we didn't have any picks. Team player options, bringing back everybody I see. And let's get here into qualifying offers. Russell and Porzingis is a free agent. Or free agents. That's not good. Jeremy Wynn, he wants 8 mil. Uh, okay, no, we should have enough to bring them back. Just, uh, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. They're both restricted. Can we get Marcus on the cheap? Nope, he wants 30 freaking million. <gasps> Whoa, 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 I might be able to build the best starting lineup I have had built in a while. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Guys, we have enough money somehow to go after a big name free agent, and we can bring back Russell and Porzingis on the restricted. What? How do we have enough money right now? How? Well, the bench is making like $5 million in total. What? We're about to get steals. Uh, let me just make sure... They already have offers. Okay, everybody has offers right now. Okay, everybody's mulling. Give me Jimmy Butler. I Oh, Clay Thompson as well. I'll definitely take. Come on. This needs to work out for us. Clay, I'll give you the max. I'd like to get Clay because I don't usually get Clay a lot. Player option, no trade cost. Somebody. Let's get someone. Clay Thompson, welcome to the Nets. Butler goes to the Bulls. Kyrie Irving goes to the Cavs. It's okay. I am standing up right now because I am hype. Okay, we can't get Marcus on the no exception. We have to bring back Porzingis and Kilpatrick. All right, can we get Marcus on the mid bubble? Yes, we can. Oh my God, this team is insane. This is might be the best team I've ever built. Might be the best team, hands down, I've ever built. I am hyped right now, as you can see. Welcome to the team, Marcus. All, holy crap, holy crap. Let me just get Russell real quick. Let me just get DeAndre Russell. We better have enough for him. We might actually not even have enough. 
Just kidding, we got him. Holy crap, this team is freaking... It's a god squad. It's a god squad. Can I get Dwight Howard? No, I cannot. All right, I don't care. I don't care. I'll see you guys at the start of next season with what this god squad of a Brooklyn Nets team, the Nets, is going to look like. And this has been two seasons as well. Wait, I I'm still standing because this team is so freaking good. All right, so look at this. Russell, Clay Thompson, poor, Paul George, Porzingis, Marcus Gasol, Joel Embiid, Jeremy Lin, Karis Avert, Hernan Gomez. What the hell is this squad, guys? It is a god squad. This is like a team you built in my team. This team is so freaking good. I don't even know what to say right now. I am speechless. Wow, this team is good. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. This team could maybe go 82 and 0, probably not. But we have, we could have five 90s. But all right, guys, I'm a little disappointed. 2K simulator difficulty has screwed me over. We are 67 and 10. It looks like we might win 72 games, but I don't know how this doesn't break the record for most wins. We're gonna see people progress to be in the 90s, and if we had 590 overalls, you know we are gonna. Marcus Saul won six men of the year. Pretty solid there. And when your six man is a 89 overall, he did not go up to 90. We could have 690 overalls, which would be insane. Definitely the best team I could ever build. And Steve Kerr wins coach of the year. Okay. Any nets? Are we going to see? But, like, obviously, we have so many good players. Yeah. There's all, like, not enough scoring. There's only so much scoring to happen. There's points to score. So, let's see. Did anybody progress well? Okay. We have five... Oh my god, there was, a, there was a chance to have six 90s. I kind of want to go to player progression this offseason, and I'll show you guys if they would progress well to have six freaking 90 overalls. I don't know if it's possible. Let's win a championship, though. That's what I'm, That's what my goal is. These are the stats. George had 20 points, Russell 19, Thompson 17, Borzinga 16, and B 13, Gasol 11, Lin 7, Levert 5, and 0.7, Hernan Gomez 3.4. Okay. If we don't win it all, this is the last year, so if we don't win it all, I'm going to be upset. Battle of New York round one, we win. Indiana, you don't have Paul George anymore. Actually, you might. Uh, no, we have Paul George, right? Yeah, we have Paul George. We win in five. Taking on the Wizards. There should be no problem. We win in five. Warriors, I, I think we could demolish them. What? How? How, game? How? How do they beat us? This is where 2K just goes, what? I guess it's the Warriors, but come on, man. I've beaten the Warriors with crappier teams before. This is, like, the best team I think I've ever built. All right. So, that's going to be for me, but I do want to go one thing. I want to go quickly into this offseason, go to player progression, and see if we can get... 590s. I don't think Marcus Saul is going to get up to a 90 because he's kind of old. So, staff signing. Let me just. I think Kerr's a. No, Kerr's not a free agent. All right, let's go to rookie signings. Did we have any draft picks? I think we might have had our first round pick. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. Uh, no, we did. It is Russell. Okay, we'll sign this guy. I don't know. Team player options at Collins. Okay. Um, I think everybody's pretty much under contract. We're probably going to lose Hernan Gomez, which I'm kind of sad. Uh,. Yeah, and or, we're, or we're losing over one of the guys, but it doesn't matter. I just want to have the studs on my team, so let's see what happens. Karis Levert, we can match his deal, but that means probably Hernan Gomez is gone, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so is there anybody like Rose, George Hill? George Hill would have taken less money, but let's go to player progression. This is it before the video ends. I just want to see, did we have a chance of getting 690 overalls, which I've never even came close to before? So let's see. I don't know how this team didn't win the championship. 2K just does this to you. Like... <laughs> I, I don't get it at all. So, I and it's crazy how I built possibly my best team ever with the Nets and start today option. Like, what? All right, here's the moment of truth. Player progression. Do we get a lot of 90s? Mmm, only two. Only two. We had two 90s, two 89s, and two 80s. Clay Thompson went down because he had 30, I guess. But, damn, definitely the best team I've ever built before. Um, and overall-wise, not outcome and performance-wise, but definitely overall-wise, we have definitely built the best team I've ever had in 2K17. So, yeah, that is going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. If this video doesn't deserve a thumbs up, I don't know what will for this amazing team we built. Let me know in the comments other videos we can do. You guys will see the Lonzo Ball and Brooke Lopez Lakers rebuild out today around 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So, be on the lookout for that. And I think I'm going to be streaming on YouTube later today, hopefully. So, that's going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for 95 freaking K. 5k left till that big 100k. Thank you all. Love you guys. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.